Okay guys, so we got our beer put up and uh, our sample here in our hydrometer is kind of settled out. You can see there's kind of a little bit of hop uh, collection down there at the base. So we're going to go ahead and put our hydrometer in, take a measurement, see where we're at. So it helps to get a little bit of a spin too, I find, to kind of keep it off the edges. All right. So, we'll zoom in here so we can get you guys a good reading. Not sure how clear that is, but we are right at, I'd say 10.55, 1.055. So, it's pretty much a medium strength beer uh, potential. You don't have to see how much ferments out of here, but uh, so we know our starting gravity is 10.55, so we need to write that down. Um, it's our OG, original gravity, or SG starting gravity. Um, so we're going to write that down, and um, you know, once our fermentation calms down, we'll take a reading, we'll see where we're at, and once that stabilizes, we'll know that our fermentation is done. So we're going to let the beer sit now for about another 12 hours and take a look and see if uh, we're starting to see some activity. Hey guys, so here we are about eight hours into fermentation and things are looking really good. Uh, things are very healthy so far. We got a little bit of yeast that is uh, sedimented on the bottom of the fermenter. Uh, we have a nice creamy white head forming on top. Uh, so the yeast is really getting going. We have a nice little blurb where we're hearing our, basically our airlock or our little blow off assembly here is starting to gurgle uh, about every two seconds. and things are getting really good. So what we're going to see here in the next probably three, four hours is that head's going to get a few inches thick and the blur beam's going to happen just about probably once or twice a second. And uh, so we'll just come back and we'll show you what it looks like when fermentation really starts getting active. Okay guys, so now we are at about 10 hours into fermentation and things are really taking off, they're really getting good. We got about an inch thick head there up top uh, that's looking very healthy. Uh, we got a lot of yeast activity. Um, I'm going to put the microphone up here so you guys can kind of hear the gurgling noise that we're getting about once every one and a half seconds I'd say. And that gurgle is just the yeast eating the sugars and what it's doing is producing alcohol and CO2 carbon dioxide so that CO2 is what it's giving off it's building up the pressure and the pressure is just pushing the air through here and into our collection vessel here which we're just using an old beer growler for with some sanitized water in there so things are going great we're going to check back here uh, just a little bit this looks just incredibly healthy. It looks so, so good. Very happy with what our yeast is up to right now. Um, you know, it's just nice and creamy and white. The head is just exactly what it want, you want it to look like at this point. So we're going to check back here in another hour or two and uh, show you what it's going to start looking like as it gets even more active, uh, more CO2 starts coming out. And, um, yeah, we'll check back. Okay, guys, so now we're at about 11 hours of into our fermentation. You can see we had a really nice creamy white head up top, uh, a little bit of the debris on top is the true, but it's bits of grain, bits of hops, it's very normal. Um, you know, we can see down here we do have a little layer of yeast built up, uh, which is perfectly normal. This beer is kind of dark, so you can't really see so much the yeast and bubbles flying around uh, within the brew, but it's chugging along nicely. Um, we're getting air bubbles, you know, and uh, that chugging noise, a blurp into our growler over here about every uh, about every second or second and a half or so. So things are looking real good. We'll check back here in a couple hours and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so now we're at 16 hours into fermentation and things are really chugging along. We got a nice healthy Krausen built up on top of our beer here. Uh, the yeast is pretty active. You can probably hear it blurping a little bit. It's going about every second. And uh, looks like we're probably gonna avoid having a blow off up into the tube here. The yeast is uh, active but it's not going completely crazy here. So we're just going to kind of zoom in and get a better look at this. Here you can see the tube here formed up top of the yeast. And a nice healthy 
yeast cake here in the bottom. And again, the beer's a little bit dark, so we can't really see all the chunks of yeast flying around in there and all the mayhem that's going on, but a very healthy fermentation. So we expect it to stay at this level where the head is at for, you know, probably another day or so, and then it'll probably start to subside a bit. And at that point, uh, we'll pick it up and uh, resume filming in. But so far, things look great.